Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're gonna to be testing out some brand new makeup releases, viral products. I'm gonna put them all on my face today and let you know if they're worth your money or not. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. I'm so excited to be doing this today because my Ulta order was supposed to come in like two days and it came today so I'm so excited I want to get this video up ASAP for you guys because we do have a lot of new releases so let's just hop right into it I do have a new foundation so I don't think I'm gonna use a new primer right now I'm hydrated and moisturized I think we're just gonna leave it at that so this is a brand new foundation from Revlon it is the Revlon Illuminance skin caring foundation with 5% squalene hyaluronic acid it's supposed to be a medium coverage with a natural fit Finish, it's supposed to reduce the appearance of wrinkles over time and deeply hydrate the skin. Unfortunately, most of the shades at Ulta.com were gone. So I got the shade 317, which could work, but I do think it's just a tad, I think it's a tad cool tone for me. Keep in mind, we are matching the neck. Um, I definitely don't want it to look too ashy, so we're gonna warm it up just a tad. I'm kind of bummed because I did get the e.l.f. Um, camo correctors for you guys, but I only got two. I didn't get the warm one, so I'm gonna do a quick, tiny little experiment. I'm gonna be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect um, under eye brightener. This is in the shade 03 pumpkin. It's like a peachy shade. I'm gonna add just the tiniest bit to this foundation because I don't want to change the actual formula, but I just don't want to look ashy. Okay, so let's do half of the face. By the way, it feels very creamy, liquidy, not like extremely thin. It definitely feels more of like a cream. You guys already know BK Beauty. And remember, we're matching the neck. Well, we're trying to match the neck. Ooh, okay, so that's blending out extremely fast. And I'm seeing that it is a natural finish, but it feels like nice and hydrating. It's giving me glow without greasiness. You guys know I love glow without greasiness. By the way, I have an ear infection, so do not look at that, guys. So that's actually looking really nice. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. Um, I can definitely see that it does have that like medium coverage. It looks really pretty right now. See how it like definitely covered, but it still looks like skin. Now I'm gonna tap. I like to tap with a brush first and then start kind of buffing. Yeah, sorry guys. I know the neck is definitely like more golden and the foundation is more orangey, but like we're gonna make it work. Now with a damp sponge, I'm just gonna get the rest of it. This is what I love to do to have like flawless uh, complexion and you know just take off any excess product so far I'm really really liking this like I mentioned it's like hydrating and it has the tiniest bit of glow but it's not greasy right now it doesn't feel heavy and it gave me a beautiful medium coverage like truly truly I'm actually loving it let's see how it works with other products and how it wears but so far i am loving the first impression moving on to let's do a little bit of like cream bronzer so i have a brand new product from undone beauty they're called the serum tint sheer radiance enhancing wand from lit from within this is a brightening serum with micro pigments that conceals highlights and contours so again i'm using the darker tone to see if maybe it'll contour. I have only swatched this, but I actually haven't used it. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty. I just don't know how much actual how much actual pigment we're gonna get. But you know, why not try it out while we're here? Yeah, not much pigment. I don't know. This might look a little prettier on like bare skin. It's kind of reminding me of like a liquid version of their like, what is it called? Like their water tint sticks. They give like a very natural effect and those are very pretty for definitely days that you're maybe not wearing foundation, but I did notice that it kind of dried down very quickly. So maybe work in sections. Ah, blend. I don't know. I don't think I would use it over foundation because it's not adding too, too much uh, pigment. 
and also I feel like it dried down very quickly and so it is a, like a little patchy because I didn't work I guess as fast as I should have so I will keep you guys updated on this it does look pretty it just wouldn't be my go-to for like cream bronzing but I do think it would look pretty on like a bare face to add bronze so I will keep you guys updated on that but for right now not my fave I guess I will maybe use this in another video when I have a foundation that's like way too warm, but I do have this one and I believe they're the same formula. They're just called the e.l.f. Camo Correctors and they do have a peach, a blue, a orange, as well as a green and a yellow. It does say it counteracts dark spots for fair to medium skin. Um, it's a full coverage satin, interesting. So this is in the shade peach and I'm gonna see if I can use it to correct my under eyes. I don't really have too much under eye today, but let's just see how it goes. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to add some right here. Let's just do one at a time so we can kind of see. Full coverage satin, but I feel like usually correctors aren't full coverage. Oh, that looks pretty, you guys. So if you have a deeper skin tone, the orange would be good for counteracting darkness on your skin. I feel like it's more of a medium coverage. I don't think it's like a full, but it looks really pretty. What do you guys think? Obviously, like I mentioned, I don't have extreme darkness today, but I do think that it definitely not only brightened, but see how it almost corrected like my hollowness and it feels extremely thin. Um, I definitely don't think it's a full coverage. I think it's more of like a light to medium, which is what you would expect usually because you know, you also don't want to like put a bunch of orange under your eyes and then have to cover that up. Like, you know, make it make sense. But right now I actually am liking it and like it is a nice satin finish. I, I love e.l.f. You guys know how much I love e.l.f. They just come out with products that I actually want, you know? That looks extremely nice. I am truly loving it so far. We'll see how it goes under concealer, but by itself, I definitely think it did what I expected it to do. So, so far, so good. Concealer, I'm gonna go with my tried and true, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Use Concealer in the shade Golden Beige. I do think that it looks super bright. It wasn't hard to cover the peachiness. It looks really nice. So I'm gonna quickly set my under eyes with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just see the final result. Okay, so everything looks good. It doesn't look heavy. It looks nice. It looks bright. I definitely do give this a thumbs up and I will keep you guys updated on the blue one. I'll try it out in a different video. So I set my face and I added some powder bronzer and let's move on to the brow. So if you guys are wondering about the brand new NYX brow glue, the brown one or not the brown one the tinted one i did use this in my last video and i really did like it if you guys want to see it in action but i also have a brand new oh it's clear <gasps> i bought a brow gel that is clear it's from milani um okay hmm let me add a little bit of brow powder and then we can add this on so by brow powder honestly i just use brown eyeshadow i use the elf bite size uh, pumpkin pie and I use this shade right here because once it's filled in then I can go in with some clear brow gel so again this is from Milani and it is brand new they do sell it at Ulta it's called the liquid wax so I'm very excited about it it says up to 16 hours liquid wax feathers and lifts and locks in brows pretty small wand I'm a little worried that it's white I hope it doesn't make my brows look white but I guess let's see what this liquid wax is all about I'm gonna apply it on both brows first and then I'm gonna let it dry just a tad because I feel like once you let these dry a little bit then they're like more moldable if that makes any sense so I'm gonna make sure both brows are saturated first now I'm gonna go back in Oh yeah, see it's getting a little bit more stiff, which is nice. Huh, the more I play with it, the tougher it gets, which is actually giving me really good hopes for this. Um, wow, this is extremely promising. It looks like it really will be. So I'm gonna just do my whole eyebrow routine with this gel. I'm gonna let it dry and we'll come back and do the brow pen. But so far, so good. I don't have any like white residue and my brows feel 
locked and loaded so let's leave it at that for now but i'm super super happy so far so for mascara i have a brand new mascara i did you see how i almost poked myself in the eye everyone and their grandma has been talking about this this is the brand new telescopic lift mascara from l'oreal of course the packaging is cute so it says it's supposed to length lift and volume i believe there's a specific way to put this on step one lift and load your lashes using the front hook bristles apply from root to tip step two use the side hook comb to separate the lashes for volume and length okay so see how it's like flat and then not so you're supposed to use like the shorter side first and then comb it out with the other side very very interesting so i'm gonna add some bronzer to the lid curl my lashes and i'm so excited to try this out let's use i guess huh oh these okay use the top and then the side okay okay oh my gosh it loads a lot of product <laughs> okay and then the side to take off some and separate wow. wow this looks really cool this looks very very good so far it's giving me a pretty equal amount of volume length and separation you guys know I look for everything in a mascara so there's one coat. Okay, not the best brush for the lower lash line because it's so like, um, I don't know. It's just not, I don't know. This is just not good for the lower lash line. Just keep that in mind, but that's okay. Wow, okay, let's do one coat on the other eye. But so far, very, very impressed. I will say um, the wand is extremely weird. So I do feel like you definitely have to like follow your directions because because it's so wonky But uh, so far it is working the way they told me to use it. So that is one coat. Wow um, This is really really nice. It is extremely lengthening, but it's actually giving me volume I am very excited about the second coat. You guys know I like extremely long dramatic lashes So let's go ahead and do a second coat on the right eye and we will see what kind of magic comes out of this mascara. Okay, so that is two coats and I'm actually amazed. I will say be careful because, I don't know, something about it, like it can get clumpy. So I'm just not even gonna touch it, but I'm actually very impressed. So let me do this other eye and I'll be right back. You guys, I am very impressed. This is the first time that I've been pretty impressed with a mascara since the Maybelline, no, the Milani Anti-Gravity. This is super, super nice. Not the best mascara for the lower lash line, but for what it did to my top lashes, I'm very happy with. I can give you guys a little bit of a wear test for all these products, but so far, 10 out of 10, extremely impressed. It's different, it's a little innovative. I like the two-step, I think it's really cool. I added some inner corner highlight, and now let's finish the brows. They feel exactly how they would feel with the uh, NYX brow glue. I think they're definitely like exactly where I left them, but they're not extremely stiff like they would be with the got to be glue. As you can see, I can still kind of move them around, but I think that they're gonna stay in place. I'm gonna finish it off with some NYX Lift and Snatch uh, Brow Tint Pen in the shade Espresso. I think that it, it just really, it felt a lot like the NYX Brow Glue. If you like that type of like brow wax, I think this is actually really, really nice. I wonder if they had tinted versions because I would love a tinted version, but this is super nice. I definitely give it a big thumbs up. So I'm gonna quickly wet my face with some setting spray because I do have a, well, I can't talk right now. I do have a cream blush that I wanna add. It's brand new. Um, Undone Beauty just came out with this these like cream palettes. I guess this one's for deeper skin tone, medium and light. I think we're gonna go ahead and try this one. Um, you guys know how much I love their palettes that are like the powder version, but I'm excited to try these cream versions. So this one's called the Strawberry Cream Little Palette. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two shades and apply them on my cheek. Oh wow, okay. Definitely pigmented. So let me go ahead and warm it up on the back of my hand. And tap it on. Oh, how pretty. This has like three regular creams and then almost like a cream highlighter. The formula itself is pretty luminous. 
So I'm not gonna add the highlighter, but this is really nice. It's applying really well. Again, they're very, very pigmented. So if you're going over powder, warm up the product on the back of your hand. That's really nice. And I love that they actually came out with a deeper shade. Like look how deep this shade is. Like this would probably work for deeper skin tones, medium, as well as light. So thank you Undone Beauty for some shade range. That's really it. Uh, the last product that I have is just another shade of a product that I love. You guys know how much I've been loving the CoverGirl clean, fresh, yummy glosses. Um, I had the watermelon one, but I just bought the one that's called Straw Booty, my Straw Booty. Let me show it to you guys uh, by themselves, and then I'll add some lip liner, but this one smells like strawberry, so I think they all have different smells. Um, but this has just been my go-to as like a lip oil, and it's also plumping. So that's Straw Booty, or my Straw Booty, and it's so pretty. I freaking love it. This is like the new lip product for me that is just blowing it out of the water. It feels nice, it looks nice, it smells good, and it plumps. So let me add some lip liner and we'll use it as an actual lip gloss today. Alrighty guys, so this is the final result. Let me give you guys a quick close-up of this foundation. I am loving it. It's like everything that I want. It's uh, hydrating, creamy, medium coverage, natural finish, um, it feels really nice. Um, like I mentioned, I can give you guys maybe like a six to eight hour wear test. So, but so far right now, first impressions, it looks beautiful and it worked perfectly with every other product. So big thumbs up so far. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will link every single product that I use down below. Like I mentioned, I will see you guys in a couple hours as a last little wear test. So I will see you guys soon, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Hey guys, so it's been about seven hours and this is what the makeup looks like. As you can see, I'm a little bit shiny, which is not normal for me because I have pretty dry skin, but it actually looks extremely beautiful. It doesn't look cakey. It wore really, really well. I think that if you have normal to dry skin, you would really love it. I don't know if you have oily skin because I don't know. I feel like it might make you a little bit oily, but I love it. What is up with my hair? Anyways, um, everything that I said in the video pretty much is the same. And I really did enjoy all this makeup and this foundation might be a new favorite. I will definitely keep using it, but I'm pretty impressed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will link every single product down below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.